Welcome back to Alicia at Home. Today I'm coming with a quick grocery haul. Um, I went ahead and got some items from my pantry to restock and I also got some items from my deep freezer to restock it as well. Um, since you all know that I am in Texas and it is hurricane season. And so not only that, it's also the pandemic time. So I just wanted to make sure that we have everything stocked up here. So I just wanted to let y'all see what I got, um, what items that I did pick up. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned. Okay, so these are the items that I got here. As you can see, I got quite a few um, canned good items. I got some corn. I got quite a few beans because they're filling. I got some fruit, pineapples, refried beans because we love those. Charro beans when I make my taco soup. We got some Rotel. We love tacos. We love tacos, so I got taco seasoning. Ranch style beans, I bet y'all like that. You got a lot of beans. Um, yeah, we like beans here. Sweet peas. And not only that, a lot of the stuff that I do use is frozen, but you always wanna make sure you have some canned goods. So we really don't mess with these canned goods unless it's really like an emergency or something. It's just a smart thing to have these on hand. I'm also gonna be getting some soups and things like that as well. I did stock up on a few of my seasonings. We got some nor bouillon. This is tomato. We got chicken. I refilled my hot sauces, my peanut butter and jellies, pickles. Even though we still have some of this stuff already here and available, this is just gonna be pantry stocking stuff. Pastas, noodles, some candy items. Rich and cream of wheat. And then we got the taco shells here. I went ahead and got flour, plenty of the fruits. The, um, the girls love the mandarin oranges, and my husband and son love the cherry mixed fruit. So I got that and raisins. Got some prunes for when anybody's backed up. Got chips, my son, he loves the hot chips, so I got that for him. And then regular chips just to snack on. And for me, I got some chicharrones because they're fat free and hey, they're no carbs, so hey, you gotta love it. We got jellos, I got grapeseed oil, Worcestershire sauce, Dijon mustard, olive oil. Um, again, something else my son loves. The pop tarts, my girls love the applesauce jellos just to keep in the pantry on hand we got some more cereals to stock up fruited low oh no these are fruity pebbles so we got that we got beef chicken and vegetable stock here um, for my soups that i like to make and we got some crystal whites for me or whenever the girls want something sweet to drink I um, like to give them something like that. I need to get them some more waters. We got some mole. We got some bread. Some more nacho type chips, tortilla chips, and salsa. We got some A1 steak sauce um, for the steaks. And we got some regular hot sauce because you gotta have that. Okay, so we also got some chicken breasts in the can. This is good for chicken salad or just to top on a salad or whatever you wanna do with it. It's very simple and easy stuff to make on a brush. And so that's what we got here. This is all of the pantry fillers. And I am gonna be getting some more things to fill up the pantry because if you didn't know, I'm actually gonna be reorganizing my pantry and I want to make sure that it's filled with everything that we need so that I can go ahead and get a picture and an idea of how I really want stuff to be. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is what I also got. I got a few things for the refrigerator. Um, my girls drink almond milk and we, we all drink almond milk, but at night my girls like to have some milk and this is what I give them. I also have this coffee creamer that I got for me and hubby to have uh, with our coffee. I had and picked up these two New York strips. And this is stuff that's gonna be in my freezer, but I'm gonna go ahead and cook this today, so that's why it's out. Also went ahead and stocked up on pampers and pull-ups and wipes, uh, just because they run through those really quickly. So that's something else that I got. This is some of the items that I did get to go ahead and stock up my freezer, or to restock my freezer. Um, if you didn't know, my old freezer got damaged um, 
because some gasoline got inside of it and after that happened, it was no good. We had to empty everything out and throw away the freezer and purchase a new one. This is a mini freezer, you guys. So it's perfect, it's not too big. It's pint size, you know, it is, I think it's a seven cubic square foot um, size freezer. So you can see here. We got some oxtails. Um, we got some salmon. Plenty of vegetables at the bottom of here. We got a uh, whole chicken. We got chicken breast. We got sausage. I like to keep some almond milk in the freezer just in case I run out. Got um, large shrimp shell on just in case I'm gonna have a seafood oil or something. I got some um, bone in center cut pork chops. I got bacon down there, some more Jimmy Bean sausage. I got oh, some more oxtails. And I checked out the regular oxtails, but they didn't have them, so this is what I ended up getting the thin cut ones. I got two big things of chicken breast. You can't go wrong with that. Here. I got some turkey legs, um, some, some turkey, smoked turkey girls. Some seasoned blend, which is what I put in just about everything. And I got popsicles down here. Yeah, I got some waffles. So that's pretty much it, you guys. That's what I got for my freezer haul. Okay, you guys, so this is the last bit of items that I did get from my pantry stock up. I got some more of the squeezable applesauces because the girls love those. I got some Rice Krispie Treats because all of the kids love those and they also love the fruit snacks. And they just run through those things quickly. And we got some of these for me and my hubby. So this is some little snacks we can have, you know, when we have some wine or whatever, we can eat some of these to snack on and I cannot wait to try them. They're by Central Market if you're in Texas or um, Louisiana, I think. I don't know if, if there's an H-E-B in Louisiana, but I know they are in Texas, and that's where I'm at. Central Market brand by H-E-B, kettle cooked waffle cut sea salt chips. So yummy. Those are the last items that I got. Okay, guys, it's the next day, and I wanted to come back and show you some of the things that I got from Sam's. I went ahead and went over there to pick up a, a few more essential items that we normally like to keep in stock here at home. I got some trail mix. Um, some of these super crunch grapes, and they are super crunchy. I was actually looking for the cotton candy grapes, but I guess they're not in season. So I got these English cucumbers. I got these, with these here, I actually did not get these from um, Sam's. I got them from H-E-B. And they, I've already tasted one, you guys. These really do taste like a cherry plum. And that's what it is, very cherry plum. They're so cute. All right, you guys, I just wanted to show you really quick what the very cherry plums look like. They look like some, some, some big Rainier cherries. And they taste really good. They really do taste like a cherry and a plum. So I'm excited that I found these. I did find them at HEB, just in case you are interested. Um, but I'm sure they have them somewhere else. It's a product of the USA. And it's a delicious new fruit, part cherry, part plum. Hooray for the hybrids. Um, I got these different lunch meats. I got the buffalo style chicken breasts and what is this one? Honey roasted. Um, I did pick up some strawberries, two Caesar salad kits. I picked up some Nesquik. The girls really like that and our son do too. And yeah, so I got some apples, some corn, potatoes for a little um, seafood bowl in the backs. Okay, babe, hold on. I got this, which is very good. If you haven't tried this, it's so delicious. I got some Jamaican patties and these taste like the real thing, so. That's a plus. Oh my sweetie. I got scrubbing bubbles. Yeah. I got some Clorox bleach toilet tabs, paper towels, and tissue. I got some more Clorox, a big pack of it. And the girls are potty training right now, so we are washing a lot of clothes to say the least. So I got two of these big things of the Tide Pods. I got some Swiffer dusters. 
And these have been definitely hard to find. I don't know what it, I guess with, with the pandemic and everything, um, a lot of people have been wanting to keep the filters change out. And so this is not the kind that we normally get, but I haven't been able to find those. We usually get the, I think it's Honeywell. Um, but anyway, these are the size that we use. And so I picked up two of these just to have them on hand. I got some big food of bath tissue and they were actually just putting this out and there was a line of people waiting for the tissue and this and the paper towels. I also picked up the um, Glad Force Flex. It's 150 bags, the 13 gallons for the kitchen trash trash can. So it's a really big box and it was a great price for this mini trash rack. So that's why I picked this one up. Oh yeah, you guys, I forgot to show you the drinks that I got um, as, along with the pantry haul. So these are some of the drinks that I went ahead and stocked up on as well. Okay, you guys, so here is everything in the pantry that I got. Um, the majority of this is, I say about 95% of this is from the grocery haul that I did just for the pantry stock up. Um, I recently got my pantry repainted from top to bottom. And I also purchased a lot of different organizational pantry um, tools that I'm gonna be using here shortly in another video. So y'all stay tuned to see our pantry reorganization. Right now this is, it's organized, but it's still pretty cluttered to me. So I want to have a, a more clear system for my family because it just seems like once I do something like this, people just start coming and picking and moving and shuffling stuff around and it just doesn't stay this way. So I'm gonna really be doing some new things in my pantry and hopefully it'll be easy for my family to follow along. So you all stay tuned if you want to see my new pantry organization. Thanks again so much for watching. Continue to um, support me, I really appreciate that. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that little notification bell so that you can be notified next time I post. Stay safe, stay blessed.